Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Hi, I'm Saaz, an IT specialist and a proud member of the web development team. In today's hyper-connected world, our mobile phones have become lifelines. We rely on them for communication, banking, shopping, and countless other aspects of our lives. But beneath the surface of convenience lies a hidden vulnerability, a silent threat that can compromise our privacy, security, and even safety. This threat is known as SS7 attacks. Imagine a scenario where a cyber criminal thousands of miles away can intercept your calls, read your text messages and track your every move, all without ever laying a finger on your phone. This is the alarming reality of SS7 attacks, a sophisticated form of cyber espionage that exploits a fundamental flaw in the global telecommunications infrastructure. The vulnerability lies in signaling system number 7, a complex network of protocols that underpins global mobile communication. Designed decades ago when security was not a primary concern, SS7 suffers from inherent weaknesses that make it a prime target for malicious actors. These attackers can exploit SS7 vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to our mobile devices and the sensitive data they hold. From eavesdropping on private conversations to siphoning off funds from bank accounts, the consequences of SS7 attacks can be devastating. This essay delves into the shadowy world of SS7 attacks uncovering the technical intricacies, the potential risks, and the measures we can take to protect ourselves. We will explore the mechanics of SS7, the various types of attacks, and the individuals and organizations most vulnerable to this growing threat. Furthermore, we will examine the ongoing efforts to enhance SS7 security and the role of technology, legislation, and individual awareness in mitigating the risks. To comprehend the severity of SS7 attacks, we must first grasp the fundamental role SS7 plays in facilitating global mobile communication. SS7, or signaling system number 7, is not a single entity but rather a suite of protocols that govern how mobile networks interact and exchange information. Think of it as the invisible hand that connects billions of mobile phone users worldwide, enabling seamless call routing, text messaging and roaming capabilities. At its core, SS7 acts as a messenger between different mobile networks, carrying vital signaling information that enables our phones to function as intended. When you make a call, SS7 protocols spring into action, setting up the connection, routing the call to the recipient's network, and ensuring that billing information is exchanged correctly. Similarly, when you send a text message, SS7 protocols ensure its delivery to the intended recipient, regardless of their location or network provider. One of the key functions of SS7 is to facilitate roaming, which allows us to use our mobile phones while traveling internationally. When you roam, your phone connects to a foreign network, and SS7 protocols come into play to authenticate your device, establish a temporary connection, and relay billing information back to your home network. This complex interplay of signaling information is essential for the smooth functioning of the global mobile ecosystem. However, the very nature of SS7, designed in an era of less sophisticated cyber threats, makes it inherently vulnerable. SS7 protocols were built on a foundation of trust, assuming that all network operators participating in the system were legitimate and acting in good faith. Unfortunately, this trust-based model has become a critical weakness, as malicious actors can exploit these security gaps to intercept signaling messages, manipulate network data, and gain unauthorized access to mobile devices and their sensitive contents. Hackers exploit vulnerabilities in the SS7 protocol, GAP1S, they intercept calls and messages remotely. No physical access to the phone is needed. They use sophisticated software tools. These tools mimic legitimate network requests. Hackers can track your location. They can listen to your conversations. They can read your text messages. This can happen without your knowledge. Protecting against this requires strong network security measures. The Achilles heel of SS7 lies in its lack of robust security mechanisms, particularly in the authentication and authorization processes. Attackers exploit these vulnerabilities by gaining access to the SS7 network, either by infiltrating a telecom operator's network, or by using specialized equipment that mimics legitimate network traffic. Once inside, they can manipulate signaling messages to carry out a wide range of malicious activities. 
One common attack vector is eavesdropping on calls and text messages. By intercepting signaling messages that route calls and SMS, attackers can listen in on conversations, read text messages, and even capture sensitive information like two-factor authentication codes. This type of attack is particularly insidious as it leaves no trace on the victim's device, making it extremely difficult to detect. Another alarming attack vector is location tracking. SS7 protocols rely on location information to route calls and connect users to nearby cell towers. Attackers can exploit this feature to pinpoint a user's location in real time with frightening accuracy. This information can be used for stalking, harassment, or even to plan physical attacks. Furthermore, SS7 vulnerabilities can be exploited to carry out financial fraud. By manipulating signaling messages, attackers can impersonate legitimate users, initiate unauthorized transactions, or even intercept and redirect banking SMS notifications. This type of attack can result in significant financial losses for individuals and businesses alike. The methods employed in SS7 attacks are constantly evolving, with attackers finding new and creative ways to exploit the system's weaknesses. From denial-of-service attacks that disrupt mobile services, to SIM card swapping attacks that hijack phone numbers, the threat landscape is constantly expanding, requiring constant vigilance and proactive security measures. Alright, so, let's talk about how you can assess your vulnerability to SS7 attacks. First, it's important to understand that SS7, or Signaling System Number 7, is a set of protocols used by telecommunications networks to exchange information. Now these protocols were developed in the 1970s which means they weren't designed with today's security threats in mind. To start, you should check if your mobile network provider has implemented any security measures to protect against SS7 attacks. Some providers have taken steps to secure their networks but others might be lagging behind. It's always a good idea to reach out to your provider and ask about their security practices. Next, consider using apps that offer end-to-end -end encryption for your communications. Apps like Signal or WhatsApp can provide an extra layer of protection, making it much harder for attackers to intercept your messages or calls. Additionally, be cautious about sharing your phone number. The more widely your number is known, the easier it becomes for attackers to target you. It's a good practice to keep your number private and only share it with trusted contacts. Finally, stay informed about the latest security threats and updates. The landscape of cybersecurity is always evolving and staying educated can help you take proactive steps to protect yourself. Regularly check for updates from reliable sources and consider subscribing to security newsletters. By following these steps you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to SS7 attacks. Remember, staying vigilant and informed is your best defense. To protect against SS7 attacks, there are several practical steps that can be taken. First, mobile network operators should implement stringent firewall rules to filter out suspicious SS7 messages. Additionally, regular security audits and updates are crucial to stay ahead of potential threats. Users can also take steps such as enabling two-factor authentication and being cautious about sharing personal information. Strengthening SS7 security is just the beginning. As we move towards more advanced communication technologies, it's essential to adopt a proactive approach to security. This includes investing in next-generation security protocols and fostering a culture of continuous improvement and vigilance within the industry. Collaboration among telecom operators, security experts, and regulatory bodies is key to building a more secure future. SS7 attacks have made headlines around the world, exposing vulnerabilities in our communication networks. High-profile breaches have highlighted the need for immediate action and increased awareness. These incidents serve as a stark reminder of the importance of robust security measures and the potential consequences of neglecting them. As we look to the future, securing our mobile networks must be a top priority. By taking a comprehensive approach to security, we can protect our personal and professional communications from evolving threats. It's a collective responsibility that requires the commitment of everyone in the telecom ecosystem. Together we can build a safer, more resilient mobile future.